Everyone knows about the Logitech MX series devices, the most notable one being the MX mouses. And I have to agree that it is one of the best mouses for productivity and are very comfortable to use. But what about those of you who game and work on the same computer? Since we already know that the MX series are perhaps the best devices for productivity, are they any good for gaming as well? I want to show you something. I actually own the Logitech MX Master 2S. I have used the S2 until it's on its very last legs. The hidden button is not working anymore and rust has formed over the scroll wheel. And yes, I used this mouse for gaming as well. And I honestly was very happy with how it feels. All right, so first off, the size and the ergonomics is just fantastic for my hand. It is really comfortable to use and it doesn't make my hand tired. The left and right click doesn't feel very good though. If I were to simplify it, the travel distance is too short. Also, I swap between the palm and the claw grip depending on the game and both grips work just fine with this mouse. Oh, and I think that the best change here is the back and forward buttons on the side. It is a massive improvement over the MX2S because right now they are not hugging each other like in the previous mouse, rather they are separated from the side scroll wheel and are spaced out just nice from each other. The hidden button is kind of sturdy but at the same time it doesn't feel as good as the MX2S where on the MX2S it's very easy and be very noticeable that you are pressed down on it but on the MX3 it's not very soft it's pretty stiff to press down and i don't know whether this is because logitech was worried that this button gets spoiled because that was the biggest issue when it came to the mx2s but yeah so on the hidden button i basically use buttons that i are on my keyboard but i need to press them a lot so for example like in fps games that would be the melee button and maybe in mmos it would be like the dodge button or maybe even the sprint button now for the tracking, I think that it is fine because it is wireless and I know that Logitech has one of the best wireless technologies available but it does feel like there is some delay especially if you're doing some fast flicks in FPS games. Again, I know this is not a gaming mouse but in strategy or maybe even MMO games where movement of your mouse is not so intense, it is no problems at all. What I really like about the mouse is actually the software that comes with it. It allows you to map so many functions to the mouse and even key presses to the overall mouse, including different functions for pressing the hidden button and swiping up, down, left, right. Obviously, you might not use all of them, but I can see myself using them in like MMORPGs like Final Fantasy XIV, where I can press the hidden button and push the mouse up to, let's say, open the inventory menu, or maybe even hold the button, push it down to open up like my daily task kind of menu. And just adding on to the application, you can actually change what type of programs use what type of key binding so when the program opens up it will automatically detect it and it will immediately swap out your configuration okay so now the next thing that i have here is the logitech mx mechanical which as the name implies is a mechanical keyboard that comes with low profile kale cal kale choco choco v2 switches I'm not a keyboard person. I really don't fancy the low profile switches because of the travel distance, but normal usage is still fine, like typing up a document or maybe just writing a script. It kind of is a better keyboard than a laptop keyboard, if that makes sense, because the travel distance is not as great as a normal keyboard, but far better than a laptop. Now, because it is using low profile, I found it that it was pretty difficult to be quick on the keyboard especially if you're playing an MMORPG like Final Fantasy 14 because you have to do this like rotation of attacks pressing different buttons depending on the situation that's pretty tough because the low profile doesn't make it very accurate in my opinion. Now also with games like this you can program macros on your keyboards to execute certain commands but the problem with the Logitech MX Mechanical is that you cannot store macros. The only things that you can change on the keys, the only key bindings that you can change is on the F1 to F12 keys. But overall, the build of the keyboard is fantastic. It has a very nice lift to the keyboard and using it for very long periods is super comfortable. Okay, so can you game on the Logitech MX series? 
yes and no. Yes to the mouse. I'm living proof that you can game on an MX mouse. I did it with the MX2S and I can do it on the MX3. If it's comfortable and it's big, that's a huge plus for me and that would probably make me buy the mouse. It will take some time getting used to the MX3 but I do feel like the MX2S had better tracking. The keyboard though is also fine but it's a shame that you can't program more buttons with macros or even customize it based on certain games. The low profile switches are honestly a hit and miss for me. It is great for work, like if you're typing documents or writing a script, but when it comes to gaming, it might not be the most greatest keyboard that I've ever used. But let me know what you think, right? Do you think it's logical to buy a gaming mouse as well as a productivity mouse if you work and play on the same system? Let me know in the comments below and of course guys, please subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next video.